Another classic. Rusty Jokes. Archetype on the track. What's going on guys? It is your boy Beer Gut Plays here with another episode of the WWE 2K23 my GM mode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the content so far. If you like the content and you want to see this channel grow, make sure you super kick that like like button. Make sure you slap that thigh. Comment down below and subscribe to this channel for more. Be sure to check out the series playlist. I will post it in the top right hand corner right here. Having a lot of fun with this series. Now, I mentioned before we were going to be doing this as a multi-stream on multiple different platforms. That is no longer going to be the game plan, but be sure to check out the Twitch TV channel, twitch.tv backslash Beer Gut Plays. Starting Saturday, once a week, we are going to be doing the Beer Gut 616 Universe Mode, so hopefully you guys will check that out. If you like it, be sure to check out my other channels here on YouTube, whether it be Beer Gut Races, I will post it in the top right-hand corner right here. Do a lot of NASCAR content over there, having a lot of fun, and also do a lot of, uh, you know, NASCAR-related stuff. Be sure to check out Beer Gut 410. I'll leave it posted in the top right-hand corner right here. That is the Sports Gaming Channel. Be sure to check that out. Now be sure to check out the video sponsor for today and all videos on this channel. I'll leave it linked in the video description below. W Energy, W Energy, absolutely just amazing product. Uses coffee bean extract for their energy formula. It is delicious. I usually drink it when I am not drinking beer. Use the code BEERGUT10 at checkout and save yourself a discount. We've got an exciting night for the pay-per-view. Hell in a cell. We've got five big matches. Starting off, Braun Strowman defending the Intercontinental title against Santos Escobar, and that is going to be an absolute banger. Johnny Gargano, AJ Styles. We're going to get right to the first match. You guys saw the card, so hopefully you are excited about this. I see title on the line, and I'm super excited about this. I was pumped the moment I recorded this we had five banger matchups and the steal the heist of the century stealing aj styles from monday night raw to bring him to friday night smackdown as you guys can see i got my precious on my shoulder right here the blue universal title wearing the seth rollins t-shirt oh, oh, oh yeah i'll be singing that during the whole entry um as soon as i get everything up and set up excuse me i will do a home office tour for you guys i that's definitely in the plans definitely want to do some things and i've got a lot of action figures i've actually added to the belt collection um Obviously, I want you guys to watch the discontinued John Cena Here Comes the Pain series. It's going to be posted right here in the top right-hand corner. And you see the, the Cena Legacy Belt. I have added a set or a third one. If you watch the Twitch series well we tom starting tomorrow, I definitely recommend you guys watching that. And we will just... You'll see the, the new belt to the collection. Braun Strowman on his way to the ring, carrying the IC title, and this is going to be a absolute banger of a matchup. Two guys whose styles I would think mesh really well together. The Giant in the red jeans, as um, Jeff Jarrett called him. Oh my God! It, it Hell in a Cell. 
got me super stoked right now, and it doesn't hurt that your boy has a belly full of Kraken and iced tea. Kraken is a black spiced rum. Definitely recommend you guys checking that out. I discovered that while I was in the United States Army. Cheap fucking rum, and it was delicious. I think it came out while I was in the Army, so... I could bullshit you guys all day, or <laughs> I could definitely tell you big stories all day about time in the army, but we're gonna get this match underway. I see title Strowman and Strowman and Santos. Honestly, this is gonna be, I feel like this is a hell of an opener for a hell of a pay per view. I feel like we've got a really, really good roster and just absolutely insane what the roster is going to do. Strowman, current champ, will he hold on to that title in the long run? Sorry, got to take a breath, you guys. Strowman. And Strowman going to hand the belt to the referee. We're going to get this match underway. Let Santos Escobar take a look at it. And the referee is getting ready. Shows the title. And this... This is going to be a fight. This is just going to be a straight-out fight. And Santos misses the kick, but Braun Strowman gets the knee to the face. Braun yanks Santos by the leg. What is Braun going to do here? Oh no, Santos with the counter and the kick to the leg. And Santos just teeing off. Hits a DDT. Going to go for a cover early. And that's just going to be a two count for Strowman. Santos, Santos clotheslines Braun to the outside. And here we go. Santos, what is he going to do? What is he thinking here? Dives through the middle rope with the plancha. This is a false count anywhere match. And Santos works the leg, going to get kicked off by bon Braun Strowman. And Strowman hits the STO. Oh my god, this has just been an exciting matchup so far. Strowman going to remove the table cover and remove all the TVs. And Strowman getting back into the ring. What a freak of nature this Braun Strowman is. And hangs Strowman over the ropes. What is Santos going to do? Santos getting crazy here. Dive to the outside again. And tosses him into the, the barricade right there. And the front vertical suplex onto the barricade. Santos going to give a high five to the crowd. Tell him Strowman to get up. I would love to. And they lock up. Tosses him back into the barricade and hits an elbow drop. Hits the bicycle knee on the outside. Uh oh, oh, got him up on his shoulders. And hits that, that driver. I don't know what to call that move. That is just going to be a two count. I really should do my homework here. Santos got the chair. And the steel chair shot. Tries to go for another one, but Strowman counters it. Strowman got a hold of Santos' head. And oh, the kendo shit sh shot to the head. Another one, and it busts Strowman wide open. Strowman going for the power slam. It's it. And that's going to be a kick out at one, folks. Uh-oh. 
He's got Strowman on the top rope. Hits him in the face. They're going top rope here. The Avalanche Mishinoku Driver. And Santos going for a cover here. And that is going to be a three count. Santos Escobar of Logano Del Fantasma is your new Intercontinental Champion. Holy crap. What a match to kick off the pay-per-view. That was absolutely just one of the show-stealing matches of the night. And your boy is hard. We're ten minutes in, and we are out. I am out of breath already. And it is a four-and-a-half-star classic. That is the great way to start this thing off. Santos Escobar, your new IC champion. We're going to do a little promoting with Thakita Lions. We're going to have AJ Styles, Johnny Gargano in the second match. AJ Styles plans to be a prominent, prominent part of this Monday or this Friday Night Smackdown. AJ Styles. Gotta love AJ Styles' music, by the way. That is an absolute steal. Thank God to that cheat code card from, from Xavier Woods. What a... This should be... Uh, granted, now because they're both faces and they're just not super, 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 you know, over. Well, I wouldn't say over, but they're not super popular. Well, not even that. They're both faces, they're both, you know, the similar styles will really help, but they're both faces, so what we're probably going to end up doing is turning AJ Styles' heel here and just going from there. And Johnny Gargano on his way to the ring. I feel like these two could have just an absolute killer feud if given the opportunity. As you can tell, my fucking the belt is rubbing up against the back of my seat. I'm going to bring this bitch back in just a little bit. There we go. There we go. Oh. As you guys can tell, I'm a little swisted right now. Just a little swisted. And absolutely just incredible. And oh my goodness, we have... What is, I, I thought AJ Styles was just the damn steal right there. Hell of a grab right there. And we're going to get this matchup underway. Johnny Gargano going to hit a running DDT to start the matchup. And Gargano going second rope. Cannot hit the move. AJ grabs the, the back of the head. And AJ going for a knee drop, and that's going to bust Johnny Gargano open right away. And a DDT. AJ going for a cover. Not even a one count on that bitch. And they're going to lock up. AJ hits the brain buster right away. And AJ trying to get Johnny to his feet. Hits the clothesline from the top rope. And a kick. A kick, but AJ gets his foot caught. The spin around. And a chop. The kick to the back of the head. And AJ just with a knee breaker right there. And oh my goodness. Johnny Gargano. 
The running forearm to the face of AJ, gonna go for a cover. And not even a one count, bro. Just absolutely insane. Johnny Gargano, the roll through and the kick. Gargano. Super kick to AJ Styles. And gonna go for a cover. And that's gonna be a kick out. Johnny Gargano setting up, calling for the finisher. AJ counters, though. He was going to look for the Gargano escape. Cannot get to it. And AJ counters it. And AJ with the face buster right there. And AJ calling for his finish. The Styles Clash. Styles Clash. Got him up. Step through. And hits it face first to the mat. And that's just going to be a two count. Johnny Gargano kicks out. Johnny Gargano setting up for another finisher here to Gargano escape. AJ counters it again. Holy crap. Oh my goodness. Holy crap. AJ looking for the... Oh, hits the suicide dive on the outside. And, oh my goodness. Holy crap. They're still fighting on the outside. AJ. Just wanted to get him up. AJ going top rope again. Jeez, these guys are just putting it all on the line. Axe handle smash. And he's going to call for it. Gargano with the counter right there. And just drops AJ on the back of his neck right there. Hits the forearm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Styles Clash steps through. Hits it. Face first. And AJ going for a cover. And that is going to be a three count. AJ Styles is your winner. Holy shit. What a match. I've had a lot of fun calling this pay-per-view. Old beer gut. A little intoxicated, but absolutely enjoyed calling this match up. AJ Styles, three straight victories over Johnny Gargano, disappointing. Could be setting himself up for a nice title match here down the road. Not to kind of foreshadow anything, but could be setting himself up for a very nice title match in the future. I, I disagree with the one and a half stars. I feel like your purist, Dave Meltzer, your Brian Alvarez would love that matchup. Now, granted, it was just a bunch of Lips and shit. Again, we're trying to, with the pay-per-views, they're going to constantly drop on, now, I know we're about 16 minutes into this episode, the pay-per-views are going to drop on Saturdays, generally, and honestly, it, it, I, I liked the live stream idea. Um, not necessarily sure, you know, with the three different platforms, I'm really a big fan of that. And that's okay. But, you know, we got something going on for the Twitch side, so don't worry. One and a half stars. Zoe Stark going to cut a promo right here. And Julius and Brutus, the Creed Brothers, going to take on Eric and Ivar. Now, last episode, which will be posted right here in the top right-hand corner, they actually won the tag team titles from the Viking Raiders. I thought it was a hell of a match. It was the main event match. And it was just insane. Guys, this tag team division, it could get a little better, but we're pretty stacked. I, I, like, I love the Creed Brothers. I like the Viking Raiders. It's just insane. Holy crap, I've been talking a <laughs> lot. And they're hyped up. It is a non-title matchup. Just kind of further the feud. Creed Brothers 
ready to go, though. Members of the Diamond Mine, a little disappointed that old Roddy Strong was not in this video game, obviously. I had no idea he left to go to AEW. That was a shocker. That was an absolute shocker. And I was fine with it. I was here all for it. And the Viking Raiders, the former tag team champions, on their way to the ring. And, ow, what the hell. Oh, Eric's got going on with the blonde bullshit in the back of the head. But, again, here for it. I absolutely love it. I think it's a great, great, great look for him. I should have put the titles on the line, but I just, I wasn't feeling it. I was also probably a little drunk when I made this card. I like how your boy is right now, so I think we did a pretty solid card, though. The Viking Raiders hyped up. They're ready to go. Here we go, boys and girls. And that. Oh, the, the gut wrench powerbomb and the forearm starting it off strong. Another forearm by Brother Julius. And a gut wrench powerbomb again. Kick to the gut, a kick to the head. Ivar's going to throw him back in the corner, or Eric. Tags in Ivar. What a tag team move right from the get-go. Jesus, Jesus. And a kick out. Two is the count. And they're going to rub his face in it. Hits the elbow drop. And a kick. Again, this probably would just be considered a filler match. The opener was a banger matchup. And a clothesline in the corner. And Julius on the top. What a counter there! And a double axe handle. And Julius calling for the finish here. Oh my god, got him up, roll through, and the clothesline, oh my goodness, and that's going to be a cover right there, and a kick out of two and a half, and oh, the shoulder tackles in the corner, knee to the face in the corner, I'm going to see another busted open wrestler here. Oh my goodness. Belly to belly suplex a la Scott Steiner. Got him up in a torture rack position. And just tosses him back down. Gonna go for a cover. And Ivar breaks up the pin right here. We're going top rope. Brother Brutai going top rope. And hits the, the dive. Oh my goodness. Let's just go for a cover. And what, how, oh my goodness, that is going to be a three count. The Brothers Creed were winners in this matchup. Obviously, as you can see, excuse me, old Beer Gut on the edge of his seat, just having a blast calling this bad boy. And, oh my goodness, I had a lot of fun, so... Ah, I disagree with that. I enjoyed it, but again, old GM beer gut here. Gigi Dolan, 
good. We're going to be here to the semi-main event. Cody versus Cameron Grimes. What a matchup. Hell in a Cell is really is shaped out to be a pretty nice pay-per-view. And I've absolutely just had a blast. Adrenaline in my soul. Something, something, Cody Rhodes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Whoa! Sorry, you guys know I love Cody, but the memes that have been produced from this damn thing is just absolutely been hilarious. So I am not even I'm not even mad. I'm all here for it. I think they're great, quite frankly. Cody. Cody and Cameron Grimes have had themselves a nice little feud, though. I've thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Like, just absolutely... I've had fun calling all their matches and absolutely enjoyed it. And Cody, ready for Cameron Grimes. To the moon, baby. From Burlington, North Carolina, weighing in at 220 pounds. So I did just finish what I could of SmackDown. Uh, as you guys may have or may or may not known, Old Beer Gut has decided to cut the cable, cut the cord, do just the streaming route because most of the stuff I watch. But unfortunately, Fox Cable Network and so I went out and bought an antenna. It was not coming in clear tonight. That's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna play, you know, I felt like, I wasn't really paying the full fuck attention anyway. I was just doing, you know, editing videos, shit like that. So again, wasn't exactly 100% paying attention. And yeah. Here we go. Cody misses the clothesline. Camera grimes with the kick to the gut right there. And it is a tables match. I forgot about that. So vertical, front vertical suplex. The uppercut reminiscent of gold dust. And the clothesline over the top rope. <coughs> Cody calling for his spot right here. What the fuck is Cody thinking? Diving through the middle rope, hits it with the plancha. Cody is not a cruiserweight. Co well, Cody is not generally a high flyer. He likes to stick to his uh, his ground game. But I'm here all for it. It is a pay-per-view caliber match, a pay-per-view high stakes. And Cody going to take all the risks. Kick to the knee. Kick to the knee. Cameron Grimes was starting a little bit of a comeback. Close line by Cody. Oh, goodness. Hip toss. Cameron Grimes just getting absolutely dominated right here. What a bullshit kick right there, not going to lie. Old Beer Gut was not happy about that. Oh my goodness. And they're going for it. Wow. 
There we go. Counter. And Cody. Suplex toss. Flying forearm. What a counter by Cameron Grimes right there. Oh, Vertebreaker! Vertebreaker! Reminiscent of Shane Sugar Helms right there. Cody got that table propped up in the corner. Throws Cameron Grimes into it. And Cody got him up on the shoulder. And just tosses Cameron Grimes through the table. Your winner of the matchup is Cody freaking Rhodes. Wow. What a matchup. Hell of a matchup. I disagree with that, but okay. I guess because it was a little one-sided, you didn't really get to see a lot. 2K's rating system is fucked. F-U-C-T, by the way. Fucked. We're here to main event time. Seth freaking Rollins versus John Cena. Hell in a cell. This is going to be an absolute burn burner. I'm super excited for it. I'm here for it. And Cena on his way to the ring. Former champion. Trying to get number 17 on the books. I guess that would make it number 18 because it was the inaugural SmackDown year that plays world champion. But who's arguing semantics here? Let's see what we can do here. There we go. And the cha or former champion on his way to the ring. And by the way, absolutely love that bit that The Rock did on John Cena. You guys know I'm a very big John Cena fan. Cena hyped for this big time matchup. And they are going to be in the confines of the Hell in a Cell. And Cena on his way to the ring. Or Cena here. Jesus. And here we go. The champion. Oh. oh, oh. possession of Seth freaking and I'm holding it upside down Jesus Christ Seth freaking Rollins I'm going to put this bad boy over the shoulder there we go I'm sorry you have to endure that freaking terrible rendition of Seth Rollins' theme music. Jesus Christ. This is going to be an absolute, just killer, killer matchup. Oh my God, these guys are just going to be ready to go. We got the challenger in one corner, the champion in the other. This is going to be an all-out fight. 
Fight Night is live, folks. Champ Seth freaking Rollins. By the way, before the next, before the the Night of Champions pay per view, or is it Clash of Champions? It's something of Champions. I will do a prediction video. Why the fuck not? So be on the lookout for that. And Rollins ready to go. Rollins seen around whatever it is. And Rollins starts off hot with the knee to the face. They lock up. And Rollins with the Falcon Arrow. Cena on the outside right here. Oh, uh, I was going to go for the dive. But I guess in the Hell in a Cell you can't. Backdrop to John Cena. Seth going top rope. Cena catches him. Rollins is countering it, though. And a cross body, and Rollins going for the cover, looking for the quick victory. Barely a one count. And now they're brawling on the outside of the ring. Remember, this Hell in a Cell confinement is supposed to keep them in, locked in. Rollins using the cage to his advantage. Cena punches him. Oh, God, counter right there. Another one by Cena. And Cena tosses Rollins through the cage. And what is Cena going to do? Cena going, climbing the cage 30 feet up in the air. Oh, my goodness. And they're getting there. Oh. oh, Cena with the knee. They're fighting on the cage. He locks in the STF on the top of the, the Hell in a Cell structure. Oh, my God. There we go. And he's going for the pedigree on the top of the Hell in a Cell. Is he going to go for the stomp? What is Seth Rollins' intentions here? And... Hits the Falcon Arrow on the... Oh my god. That steel cage is giving right there. He's going to go for the curb stomp. Oh, Cena... Attitude adjustment, attitude adjustment, but Rollins fights out and hits the reverse backdrop DDT. Man. Cena with the clothesline. They were just fighting on top of this steel. At some point, this steel is going to give the knee to the face. Attempt and that is gonna put Cena through the cell. Oh my god. That fall may have broken Cena right in half. Rollins isn't done yet though. And he is gonna hit a curb stop for good measure. Rollins go for the pin. It is over. Whoa! Super Cena activated. Kicks out a two and a half. Hit, misses the knee, Cena blocks it. Backdrop by Cena. Gonna go for a cover. Kick out. Oh. Pedigree! Pedigree, Rollins setting up. He's gonna go for a cover. 
super we let him up we i let him up i want to finish him with the curb stomp cena with the clothesline they lock up and he's got him oh rollins gets out of it cena with the belly to belly cena going top rope here what the hell is cena thinking Cross body, but Seth catches him. Body slam. You know, Cena's recovered nicely for a guy that's fell like 30 feet. Cena with the surprise roll up. Kicks out of two. Holy shit. Misses the ends of Giddy. And the reverse vertical by John Cena. He's going to go for a cover here. Kick out. <coughs> Sorry. See the power bomb attempt. Ooh. What is Cena gonna do here? Pulls him to the center of the ring. And the five knuckle shuffle. Codename masturbation hits it in the face. Cena going for a cover here. Low, Cena wins. Hell of a matchup, though. Who would have thought Cena would have survived after falling through that cage? Just Jesus Christ. Cena is back to being your universal heavyweight champion. Holy crap. Man. That was a match, though. I will say that. That was a match. And a half. Let's see what the star system gives us. Five stars. Okay. I, I guess with Cena surviving the fall through the cage activating Super Cena, that relative, automatically makes it a five star match. Cactus Jack coming to Monday Night Raw, going against Nakamura. Not doing any promoting? Wow. How do you open with a World Heavyweight title match? Okay. Find this interesting, but we'll go with it. Ridge Holland and Rey Mysterio. Ain't nobody asked for that match. I got four stars. Okay. Cena and Rollins, though, that was just an absolute banger of a matchup. Just holy shit. I was not expecting that. Had a good pay-per-view, I think, though. So what's going to happen here? We're going to set up the pay-per-view, and we're going to set up the next week's match, and we're going to get the hell up out of here. Mick Foley signs Cactus Jack. What the fuck? We're going to be in Long Island, New York. We're a couple weeks away from Survivor Series. That is going to be a bomb-ass pay-per-view. We are starting to make a little bit of ground on GM No Ear Foley and just absolutely having a great, great, great time with this. As you guys can tell by my voice, it is a little shot now, so... Uh, 40 something minutes of this video and been I wouldn't say I'm screaming at the top of my lungs but I'm putting a little bit of bass in the voice at this point uh, I will say for spots I was screaming like that goddamn cage spot I was screaming uh, we can get a shake up card interesting I think we're going to go with riding the coattails I don't know what we're going to do I don't know what we're going to do. But we're going to set up next week's event. Is there anybody I really want to sign? Not particularly. Now, I told you guys, if I find somebody that I absolutely have to grab, I'm going to grab him, but Drew McIntyre just ain't doing it for me. Look at the legends real quick. Nothing really there. Um, there's some cool legends, but nothing really there right now. 
And we're going to get this pay this Friday Night Smackdown lined up. And the opener, it's going to be Charlotte and Becky Lynch for the women's title in a submission matchup. Uh, yeah, I think it's, it's going to be a submission. Yep. I feel like that would be a good way to start off the, the event. What we're going to do here now is do a promo. And, wow, Cody's a five? Santos going to do a promo right there. Going to hopefully get some money. We're going to do... Okay, so we're going to have some good matchups. Oh, yeah, now my voice is shot. I was going to try and do another recording after this, but boy, is it shot right now. We're going to have the women's tag team champions, uh, Toxic Traction, take on Zoe Stark and Thakita Lions for the titles. We're going to do a... You know what? I feel like we're not too heavy on the heel side. So we're going to turn AJ Styles heel. All right. Cody versus Cameron Grimes. No running. We're going to set up that last promo. And your main event, it is going to be a tag team matchup. It is going to be Brother Julius and Brother Brutai, the Creed brothers, taking on the Viking Raiders, Eric and Ivar. I believe it is going to be a title match, and it is going to be a cage match. Now, just to already mention this, it is going to be the Creeds and the... The Viking Raiders, that match actually got left on the scrap room floor because of some issues. But, guys, well, I want to thank y'all for watching this. I want to thank y'all. Obviously, you know, I put a lot of my heart into this. So I hope you guys enjoy that. If you do, make sure you super kick that like button, comment down below, and subscribe to this channel for more. We're going to be doing some more stuff here in the upcoming weeks. But guys, I had a lot of fun doing this. Hopefully you have a great day, a great evening, and until next time, my friends, peace. Just for the record, I'm breaking it, breaking it. I did it when they said that it can't be done. To become number one, the champion. Yeah, straight to the top. I'm taking it, taking it. And just for the record, I'm breaking it, breaking it. I did it when they said that it can't be done. To become number one, the champion. Hey, yo, I reign victorious. Can't stop winning. Against all odds from beginning to the ending. Put me in the ring and I...